All right, did not participate. Dunbar, shin, Thompson, rib, Williams, thumb. Limited were Crowder, ankle, Moses, knee, and Reed, back. How did Crowder look? Uh, he just did some individual today on a limited basis, but uh, it was good to see him out there in number 80 jersey. Would he have to make significant progress to play Sunday, or where does he kind of stand? Yeah, I think uh, we'd have to see a pretty good day tomorrow out of him, uh, like in a teamwork and some uh, red zone activity, but uh, we'll see. How about for Chris, can you, are you ruling him out for Sunday yet? Chris Thompson? Uh, yeah, he'll be out Sunday. Okay. No secret there. Um, with Tampa Bay's uh, passing game, how much of a challenge will that be if you guys don't have Quentin on Sunday? It'll be a challenge, very much so. But, uh, you know, Danny and Stroman are going to have to step it up. And Fabian maybe have to move out the corner of some base, but we'll see. But uh, I think Stroman's got some pretty good experience. And uh, Danny got some experience last week, so strap it up and play. With Chris out, any more lean on whether Byron could be playing on Sunday? Uh, not yet. No, Capri's handling it pretty good. Samaj uh, is back up to Adrian, and, and uh, so we have three backs right now. But, uh, you know, that, that'll probably be addressed maybe next week. Jay, what needs to be cleaned up against uh, the receivers from Tampa Bay, considering Atlanta kind of, their receivers kind of got loose a little bit. What do you need to do better against these guys that you didn't do last week? A lot. You know, we got to do better on third down, rushing the passer. We had some pretty good third down situations for us to get some pass rush, and we didn't really uh, take advantage of those situations. And, and Matt had some time to throw, get to his first, second, third read, and, and they ran some very good pick routes and got free. So uh, we got to clean up some of our, if we're going to play man to man, clear up some of our combination coverages and uh, go from there. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a great challenge. You know, Evans is a heck of a receiver, obviously, Deshaun and uh, Goodwin and or Godwin and, and uh, OJ. So, uh, Got to cover them up, mix in some zones, and rush the passer. How'd the new guys look along the line, like on the offensive line? Just Our offensive line? Yeah. Well, they did good. You know, they, they did all right in the team periods. You know, we did a little bit of one-on-ones, and we did some team period to try to get their feet wet. And, uh, you know, for the most part, I was impressed with the way they handled it mentally. You know, so only had one false start, which is good. Uh, one's too many, but uh, with all the snap counts that Alex uses, it's, it was good. So we mixed in some tempos with them, and, and they handled it. Did Morgan do any teamwork today? Uh, no. He did some individual and some light work. Uh, it was a bit of a crash course last week for uh, Clinton Dix. What have you seen from him this week in practice, and do you expect him to look a little more comfortable on Sunday? Yeah, he looks a lot more comfortable. He's a very bright guy, like I said last week, and uh, I think his role will expand quite a bit. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Big crowd today. Greg, your unit has been sensational in some games this year. Obviously, Sunday was not amongst them. How do you account for the up and down uh, of your unit? Well, I think uh, just overall, I think, uh, you know, there was just a lull. I think, uh, you know, over a season, you got those ups and downs, and uh, we just happen to have one of those downs. So we got to make sure we rebound back uh, from a bad performance. And uh, going to this week, uh, you know, and, I, and the best thing I think about it when you do have those bad performances, usually the guys focus a little bit more, and uh, they're focused in in a good practice today. You, the goal has been to make teams one-dimensional, and you guys have done that, stopping the run. 
didn't happen the other day. What was going on differently with, with, um, with the run defense? Well, I think, uh, you know, with the, the guys that they had uh, overall, you know, from a receiver standpoint, tight ends and, and even the running back, uh, you know, we tried to play a little bit of a light box at times. And, uh, you know, they kind of took advantage of it. But, uh, you know, overall, um, we got to learn from the experiences that we, uh, that we had uh, on Sunday. But, uh, you know, we got to just make sure we get off on third downs. That's huge. You know, that was a situation where we just didn't get off on third downs. And it just extends drives with an offense like that that they have with so many potent receivers. Um, you got to make sure you make plays when the opportunity arises. DJ has mentioned this a couple times, and I'm just curious from your perspective. When it comes to crowd noise and, and being at home and just being able to communicate a little bit less effectively, he's talked about, especially with HaHa last week, is it easier just as a defense to communicate on the road just because it's a little bit quieter out yeah, there? Yeah, sometimes it is. You know, from our standpoint, I think, uh, you know, I always talked about the communication standpoint. I don't have a magical ball like I always talk about. Uh, but just overall, you know, it is a little bit harder sometimes when the de- uh you know, from a communicational standpoint where you're at home, we're a little bit more hand signals and stuff that we talk about every week uh, that we got to keep on improving on. So, but yeah, it is a little bit harder. But it's great to have the crowd going wild. Greg, how much more comfortable has uh, Clinton Dix looked in practice this week? Uh, very good. You know what I'm saying? He's a Pro Bowl guy. He understands coverages. He knows exactly uh, from a leverage standpoint and overall just, uh, just a phenomenal human being that understands, you know, the game of football. So I'm excited for him uh, and getting ready for, uh, you know, the team that we're playing. One of the things that I'm sure you're, you guys have been working on cleaning up is those pick routes, whether they're on purpose or some of the more natural pick routes that occur. Uh, at what point do you just say you go from changing what you're doing and trying to do that thing better to maybe we try something else? How, how do you find that balance as a coach? Well, there is a lot of pick routes going on in the league, you know, Sometimes they're a little bit beyond two yards or one yard that they say, you know, and not everybody yet catches those. Uh, we got a couple of calls or one or two last week. But I'm just saying, um, you know, it, it's, it's where you got to balance, you know. If the team's doing it, you got to make sure that you, uh, you know, get in a situation where you're playing a little bit of zone, then, you know, then man. So uh, we'll go back and forth, you know, uh, based upon the down and distance. So, you know, it, it's huge nowadays. You know, they give you one yard which they fudged about two or three, but we'll see. But even if you're staying in man, are there different ways you can pass them off versus eat while staying in yeah, man? Yeah, there's different – you got all different ways of doing it, you know, from a bunch, from a, you know, uh, from a back in the backfield. For, for, you, know, you got totally different, different ways of doing it, so uh, we just chose the wrong way. We chose the wrong pill. There, there, been, there were a couple of times the other day, too, where you may have two guys running to an area, whether to the flat, and another guy comes free, or you have the um, touchdown to Coleman, some hesitation, he gets out to the flat. Is that, are some of those things, is that still a matter of recognition? Is that a matter of not adjusting to a formation or, or you know, something like that? What's going on in those situations? And is that, that was a call. We messed it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, plain and simple. With your pass rush, what do you think the biggest difference was last week with not getting to Ryan? And it was a good offensive line. You know, overall, I think, uh, you know, they had some big bodies up front. Uh, I think we got there a couple of times. But, uh, you know, we were in his face a couple of times. Good quarterbacks make those throws, you know, and uh, he did. So, uh, you know, I, I think that he, he's a good uh, quarterback. And then uh, the receivers that he has are very talented. So, uh, overall, he made some throws. We didn't. You know, execute it sometimes, and uh, that's what happened. Just in general, I guess, what are you noticing from when you guys get successful pressure? Is it coming from the middle and then the outward? Like, how does it kind of develop? Left, right, and middle. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's where I try to, you know, pressure them. So, all right, guys. Thank you. <laughs>